also as a child, rights were really, I would have been brought up by parents who really believed in rights. And so when I had my job and I saw absolutely this, this total discrimination, lack of access, lack of freedom for people with physical and sensory disabilities, I talked very loudly to every politician I met in this country to ensure that we get got change. And we got change within our councils, we got change within our libraries, that we could have ramps, we got change that we have parking bays. Uh, we got change for so many things and there's you know there's still more to be done, I know, but at least I know that I was part of that journey and that is very rewarding. Unfortunately, in 2011, I had to leave that job because I was diagnosed with um, early onset Alzheimer's. And so it was, it was difficult for me. Um, my life was full of fun and enjoyment. And um, I just couldn't believe that now as I was approaching a few short years later, my retirement that I was going to be, have to accept that I had a memory disease. So it was very frightening. I was full of fear about the future. There were no supports. There was nowhere the doctor could direct me to go. Some of the old me sort of kicked in and said, hang on a second here, you know, where are my rights? I've spent my entire life fighting for the rights of others. And here I find myself that there's absolutely nothing for me. And that led me to the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland who were just newly forming the, the Irish Dementia Working Group. And I'd go into a room to join them, just people like myself, just trying to live a life with an illness that was no cure for. And uh, and uh, on that first meeting, one of the guys said to me, he said, you know what, if anybody came in here, sure, they would say there's nothing wrong with us because we were all laughing and talking and just talking about life in general. And what I have is short-term memory. And there's, there's nothing I can do about it. I've learned to live with it. And I have also learned to fight for our rights, which is what we began to do by having that, that, um, that group. So it's getting a little better, but we have a long way to go. And we want to live a life. We want to live a quality of life. Uh, and of course, we want to live for as long as we can with that quality of life. But I think having the decision support service, having everything in place, having my power of attorney, having my advanced health care director, those things are going to ha ensure that my rights are protected. My hopes and dreams for the future, well, to live as long as I can, joyfully and happily, and uh, enjoy each day and c continue to advocate, continue to advocate for as long as I can, because it's important that I, that I do something every day. And is there anything better than to advocate for the rights of another human being?